Hello. I think today's card looks very Moulin Rouge. I think even perhaps you could use this for your men in your life. They may appreciate a little bit of a uh, sexy flower on their card. You never know. You be the call there. But we're going to show you the products that we're using on it. First thing is the Stately Circles by Spellbinders. Beautifully detailed die. We're going to use that for our focal element on our card. The sentiment is coming from the Fancy, Fancy Tags 2 set from Spellbinders. We're going to add a nice little edge detail with the bracket borders. They have some beautiful detail. And the matching stamp will come from the Celebrations Label 1 set from Just Right Stamps. I'm going to do a little bit of embossing first using one of my embossing folders. This is the A4 design called Tapestry. So I've selected some kind of rust colored card here and we're going to go ahead and put this into our folder. A Little bit of tape. I'm very big on the taping. Just catch the edge there, that's all you really need. Let's set that aside. Now I need my base plate put the folder on the top. I'm going to use a small shim down the center and the raspberry adapter plate. And we're going to run it through the grand caliber. Now one of the things that I think is really, really pretty to do when you've embossed your background is to highlight it. So let's take this out. We'll move everything to the side remove our tape and I'm going to use some of the cast bronze metallic gilding wax from Cosmic Shimmer. Very simple to do. You just open it up and you can see it's just a little pot of gorgeous metallic wax. Put your finger inside, rub it around, pick it up and just rub it onto your folder. Now you can do as much or as little as you like here. Just a very light dusting across the top if you want, or I think we'll put just a little bit more around. Really highlight that embossing. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I just love the way that looks. Let's see if we can show you that detail. You can see that embossing just being highlighted by that wax. So, so pretty. Now let me clean this off my finger. I'm going to use a grime boss. They've got a little bit of an adhesive or a, um, abrasive side on it. Just wipes it right clean. And you can set that aside on your crafting table and use it later for all sorts of things. Set this aside and I've done a black mat for this. So I'm going to tape it onto place. and then we'll go on from there. Okay. There we go. Now I might as well just go ahead and put this onto my card back. I've already drawn a piece of ribbon across of it. I've got some mounting foam on this end. We'll go ahead and put this into place. And right about there, I think. That works. Okay, set that aside. We're going to come back to that in a second. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of stamping with the Just Right Labels. I've pulled off this long one here. I think it's really pretty. And I'm going to use my Clear Perfect Medium to ink it up. Just go along, tapping. Give it a nice inking up and back. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a piece of U-mount. Put that underneath that because I think it gives you a much better um, stamp impression with your clear stamps. So I'm going to line this up along the back here and it's slightly longer so it's going to go off the page a little bit. That's not a problem. Give it a good push. Make sure you make good contact with your stamp all the way across. There we go. And let's take that and put it to the side. 
And with my black embossing powder, because I like to use the black on the black, I'm going to pour the embossing powder over that. Look how beautiful that came out. You can even see it, even without it being embossed. So let's just move this back into the container and set it to the side, and we'll heat emboss it. There we go. Okay. I think that black on black embossing is probably the most dramatic there is. It's enough to draw your eye in to give you some interest, but it doesn't take away. Look at how gorgeous that stamp is. There we go. Now you can see how pretty that came out. Absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna actually use the matching die to cut that and give it a decorative edge. So what I wanna do is a little bit of wax paper. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna actually line it up first. I'm gonna put some tape on it, and then I'm going to slide my wax paper into place. I think that'll be easier. There we go. And I'm gonna use, that's just a decorative insert, so we wanna use a cutting edge. So let's pop this one into place, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna trim this down so I've got a little bit of card that I can stick my tape to, because when you have the wax paper, the tape does not want to stick to it. Pop that back into place. And we're going to line this one up too. Get my tape. I'm going to move it just so it matches up with that one. And a little bit offset here. One more piece of tape and I think that will secure it nicely. There we go. So let's grab our cutting plate. I'm gonna pop that on there, and I like to put them this direction. And that allows the, uh, the middle of the machine where the pressure is to hit all areas of that. I'm gonna put that down. I'll tell you what, I've got a couple other things to, to cut too, so let's go ahead and do them all at once. And I think we can even put a little bit of wax paper under this one too. We'll catch that one just in the little detailed areas. And tape it into place. And this last one too, we'll do both of them. And let's just grab a tiny bit more wax paper for that one. It's detailed, so anytime you have something really detailed, it's a really good idea to put your wax paper in there. There we go. Should be able to cut all of those at once. So let's see what we have now. Make sure this one has cut nicely. Ah, gorgeous. Let's take this one apart. Peel off some of our tape. And we've got the wax paper on there, so that should pop out fairly easily. Let's just get it started. Okay, I'll clean that in a second. We've got this little guy, pop this aside. I'm gonna use that in a few minutes. And let's get this one. Oh, I forgot to stamp my sentiment. We'll do that right now, okay? So, we've got the tag here, and I'm going to use the congratulations from the Just Right Labels, uh, Celebration Labels 1. Because it's clear, it's easy to stamp afterwards, although I tend to do it beforehand. We'll just ink that up, and put that right in there. I think that looks about straight. There we go. Lovely, really happy with that one. Set this one to the side. 
Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is we've cut the stately circles and I've gone ahead and done score lines all the way across on a scoreboard. And depending on how high you want your rosette to sit is how far apart the lines are. These are about, oh, I'd say a little over a quarter inch. So what you need to do is take some scissors and you're going to just cut to the center. And then you're going to do some mountain folds and some valley folds. But I like to do all my mountain folds together and all of my valley folds together. I just found it easier that way, but it's a personal preference. There we go. Oops, that one. So every other one is going to be your mountain fold. And then come back through and every other one is your valley fold. So I'll just do a few because I've got one prepared for you, but you're just going to go back through on your score line, get it started, and do your valley folds, right? So when you go to put it together, you can easily accordion it, wait, concertina it, <laughs> that's easier to say, back and forth, all right? So I've got one already prepared that I've done. Now ordinarily, I'll do two of these and make a full rosette, but what I wanted to show you today was that you don't have to. You can use this on your cards just using half of it, and it's really pretty too. So what I'll do is set that aside, and I'm going to use a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer Glue, dries clear, and let's just get this bent back up into shape a little bit more, and I'm gonna put this right on the bottom piece. and Just let it sit up for a second, okay? In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a little bit of mounting foam on my background pieces and get them ready to go. So I've got this one here, we're gonna put that on there. And this one here, we'll put this on there, okay. And I think I can even attach this while that's setting up. And what I like to do with my dies is sometimes you can mix and match them so you have different things showing up. Um, this one, out of the same set, has a lovely uh, detail, top and bottom, and this one's more side to side. So if you layer them together, they look so pretty, I think. Really love that. So we'll set that aside for the moment. I think this is probably tacky enough now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that to the decorative strip that I cut, the little border. And I want it to go about halfway. So let's just do one side. And I want it to sit right about like this on there. And this other side, whoops, right about like this. And I'm going to just hold it into place for a second to glue it. And we've got the dry as clear glue, so don't worry if you see some of the glue to begin with. And I think what I'll do is put a little bit of mounting foam on the back piece here. So I can put it onto my card. And I think I'll use a glue dot to secure it into place. I'm going to put a couple on here, I think. How about right about there? And I'll put one over here. So we'll bring in our back here and then peel off. Get that off my finger. There we go. Peel this piece off and get the back on there. And I'm going to seat this so it's right about mm, a little bit below center there. We're getting there. So now let that dry. There's some glue there, but see how pretty that looks just with a half rosette. You don't need a full one. And that center section right there, you see a little bit of a gap? We're going to cover that. So let me show you what we're going to do. I have this beautiful rust ribbon, and it's got kind of a sewn edge on it on both sides. Now this is inch and a half wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ribbon scissors and I'm going to cut it down the center. All right, so you need a nice pair of scissors for this. You will have a little bit of raveling, but don't worry about that. It's not gonna be a problem. Just go all the way down the middle. And I probably have, I'd say about 22 inches here. Just to guess, okay? So once you have this, you can make two flowers from this. All right, next step is to take that cut edge where it's starting to unravel and you're going to use some red line tape. Run it all the way down 
that cut edge. So even if it's raveling a little bit, it's not a problem. So let's get this started. We're gonna peel off our liner. Let's see, there's, there's my pokey tool. Get that started. Peel that off. And we're gonna fold this down to create the center of our flower. This is a flower technique I came, I just, I was working around card making one day and I wanted to make some flowers out of ribbon and I, I didn't wanna to have to sew it or hot glue it. And it came to me, if I use the liner tape, it's really, really simple to do. So this is my own design on the flower. Peel it up once you've got the center of it started and then just start to gather it as you go. And this is a nice thick ribbon. It's really, really got a beautiful texture to it. So it's very, very easy to work with. So you can start to see the center of that forming as you go. A Little bit of pinching and just push it together. Turn it a quarter of a turn, pinch it at the bottom, get a little bit of a gather going and it's sticky. So you have to keep pulling your finger away from it. Work it around, a little bit more of a gather. And the more you gather, the fuller the flower will be. So we can start to see that rose just taking shape there. A Little more gathering, turn it. And there's no right or wrong to this at all. It always comes out beautiful. There we go. A little bit more. Now if you decide when you get to the end of this that you want a bigger rose, you can easily add some more ribbon onto it so it's not a problem. There. A little bit more. And you've got that other half from where you cut the, the ribbon down the center so it wouldn't be a problem. There we go. Sticky. And roll that. When I get to this part, I actually will fold this part down so I don't have any unraveling there and finish it off. Let's see. So we have a really, really pretty ribbon rose there. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful. Now you can trim that away if you like. This one doesn't sit too high. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna add another glue dot. And I'll tell you why I do this. Because you've touched that um, tape and you've kind of taken some of the sticky away. So I wanna put a little bit back on there. And we're gonna seat that right in the middle of our half rosette. And then I've actually done ahead of time a couple of um, leaves from the Biddy Blossom set in the same color. I've highlighted them a little bit with the um, Black Soot Distress Ink. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of a glue dot to each one of these and kind of have them poking out from underneath it. Like that. And like this, you can even do a little forming on your leaf if you wanna give it a little more realistic look. Pop that under there. Isn't that pretty? And we're just going to add our sentiment and finish off our card. How about right about like that? Oh, beautiful. Now you can add some extra pearl embellishments to the corners if you like, and really make it your own personal creation. I hope you've enjoyed the demo for today. Bye-bye.